the food that we eat while growing up, that food builds our body or becomes me. Like I ate anna, anna becomes me. Okay. That sacrifice, the cycle of sacrifice begins there. The anna is sacrificing its life to nourish me. By nourishing me, it becomes me. So they also evolve in one sense. One sense. Uh, satmya. Sa atmiya. In sa, that anna becomes me, atma. Okay. So the, the, if you grow up eating certain food style, food lifestyle, then you cannot change another food. If I, I can eat a dosa really once in a while, being an North Indian, for example, I'm an North Indian, I'm from East. Uh, so, but then I cannot eat it every day. Every day I eat my roti and sabji. Okay. That's called Sartmi. So if you force them to eat rice three times a day, they will have difficulty. Health-wise, they will have difficulty. Cooks are very important. You know, very important. So yes, uh, so the consciousness of the person who's cooking is very important. Bad cooks are nice. I don't blame any of them. But because the intention is to make money, so that consciousness does seep into the food. Like when your mother cooks for you, she never thinks about money, right? Very do. And that consciousness is very superior consciousness than eating come. So those families who have big monies and who had cooks that are home and they don't cook, it is not a good idea. And the satisfaction will not be there in the family. You should have thousands of servants. But when it comes to churn butter for Krishna, cook for Krishna, she used to cook. She only gave to Radharani because she is the best, because she was blessed by the worst of right? But the point is, because the food not only nourishes her body, it nourishes her mind. It nourishes her existence, her subtle body, gross body, everything is nourished with Anna. It's not that we eat for physical strength, no, that is one part only, the small part. The bigger part is mind. Because mind, agar, you know, mind is happy, then everything else is happy, even if food is not so good, I mean, um, uh, not so fancy. So I would not say, I would not say not good, good food, but not fancy. We don't mind it. But if food is fancy, but mind is not content and happy, you cannot enjoy anything. I mean, you cannot release anything. You cannot feel happiness, satisfaction, happiness will not come.